Poole, seven on the shot clock, gets it out to Cannon. Cannon loses the handle on the ball, picks it up. He's going to have to shoot from his knees. And he oh! banked it in! He banked it in from his knees! Three feet beyond the midcourt strike. I don't believe what I saw. Isaiah Cannon, and this is my life. About to head up here to Snyder Jump. Probably catch a couple of games or just holler at a few people that I ain't seen in a while since I've been home. Yeah, I always try to come back in here and play a little bit when I come home. Try to give back to my community the best way I can. And, uh, just stay at it, stay working. I always stay in the gym. That's what I do. You know, I always got my boys with me. They always come with me, ride around. Yeah, yeah like man. that. You already know we got to hold it down for that boy Zay, man. Real homeboy. Played with his dad, uh, Tim Griffin, class of 1984-83. Played with all his uncles, and that's real talk. This boy right here gonna do great, great things for the coach. Few people out here that wanted to get up under your skin, so you ain't had nobody with you. Got kind of rough sometimes, but hey, how it is. We about to, I got a lot of construction work going on, a lot of renovating on my side of town. Uh, that's the old high school football stadium. That's gonna be a new gym on my side. Pulling up, pulling up into my house, about to pick up one of my homeboys. He's sitting there waiting on me. They're about to go talk to Grams, see how she living. People that seen Cribs, just like a demo version of the Cribs, man. Y'all ain't gonna see all my house just a little bit. Yeah. Got my living room. TV where I watch a lot of tape at. Studying a little film. Uh, this is where I love to live at, though. Y'all can call it how you want it, but this is where I love to live at. Kitchen. Cake. <laughs> Fruit. A wine punch. 
juice. You know Everybody, I live in the kitchen refrigerator. Mad food, it's probably mad food. You know I'm trying to do some juice, bro. Brotherly love. Mad food. Favorite? Everything, you know. But y'all need to let y'all go see my grandma. Oh, the, the, the head of the house. She's probably on the phone busy doing something. For church, everybody must stay in church for real. Y'all practice? Yeah, yeah. Shooting a little video. Uh-uh. <laughs> Not with me looking like this. <laughs> She's alright. She just don't. She cares about her looks. Bruh. Duck, where you come from? Man, don't question me, bruh. <laughs> where you come from? You know, hey, how you got this one to turn to you? My brother looking mad ugly right now. Just got up. You got this one to turn to you? Hey. Y'all ain't gotta go home, but y'all gotta get yeah. up. I'm out of here. That's, that's good. MTV crib? Right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's my cousin, man. Crazy, man. Oh, man, I'm Jeremiah, man. What's up, man? <laughs> follow me on Twitter, Chasing the Dream One, man. Y'all can always follow me. Yeah. Sip03. Find me, follow what I do. Who y'all really need to follow, though, is my man, B Pay. He really <laughs> coming up on all this uh, video promotions. Yeah, shout uh, out. Producing all these videos. B pays for I'd like to give him a special shout out for doing this for me. The hurricane, Katrina came. It was, it was one of the worst days of my life. It, it was like you, I was sitting on the island with nothing around me, uh, just water to. The, so we was on the second floor of our church. It was water came up to our ankles. Um, we all, we had to go up in the attic because we didn't know how high the water was gonna get. The wind was blowing. Whole church was rocking side to side. Um, I even got a little frustrated because my grandma couldn't swim and I was the only one that could. So I told her, I was like, I don't know what to do because you can't swim if the water got up here. And um, so she was like, don't worry about it, just let God do his work. So we all went up in the attic, me, my cousins, uncles, auntie, and these two other people that was with us. Went up there, was just sitting up there on the rafters, little pieces of wood that the uh, roof was, was made out of. And pretty much rolled it out till all the water went down. And after it went down, we went outside to see how much damage it was. Everybody, houses, still a little flood, flooding around the neighborhood. My house was underwater about eight feet. It, um, it came, the water just ain't touched the roof. And all I had, my owning was a weak amount of clothes and my PlayStation 2 and a couple of pair of shoes, that's all I had to my name. So I had to restart. And that was pretty much one of the toughest times of my life because I lost all my childhood trophies. They all melted away from the salt water. Lost all my medals. Um, my basketball shoes that I had, they cherished. Because growing up, out of my side of town, everybody wasn't able, so I had to make do with what I had. I mean, that was just part of one of the days that I'll never forget. Just a great young man, real professional. Basketball player, I would say already, you know what I mean? Because he's been playing with everybody from the hood, you know what I mean? Just a great dude. As you see, um, on a daily basis, we got police, you know, controlling our neighborhood. Yeah. We come from a rough neighborhood, but, you know, as you see, our people like Isaiah, the product of you can make something out of coming out, out of the hood. So you know he's been my friend also since like kindergarten. You know, we all have known each other, play ball, help help each other during the hard times and everything. So I mean it's a blessing to be around a bunch of individuals, you know, it's all trying to do something positive. Like, uh, great individuals, great teammate, great friend. I mean, I'm just glad that he made it up out the hood. I mean, everybody ain't able. But I hope he um, succeed and go to the league, man. That's my brother, man. I love him. I love all my brothers. For real, man. I love all these boys that stand there right here, man. Hey. You know I mean? Miss Sheila got the best chicken on the block, though. <laughs> Made it up to the state with my 11th grade team and we ended up getting put out in the semifinals and 
I didn't want to go through that feeling no more. So throughout the summer, me and some of my homeboys, we just was working and saying that we was gonna make it to the state championship game next year. And we ended up making it. And I told him we we wasn't gonna lose this game. We worked too hard, it came too far. Everybody doubted us. And I can remember going all the way back when I was little. They told me just keep at it. And good things are happening. So went out there and played one of the hardest games I could in my life in high school. And it turned out for the best. We ended up winning state my senior year. Um, Cannon is just a phenomenal player. I got a chance to coach. Um, blessing to coach him. Uh, really good shooter, really good ball handler. Uh, doesn't have a, a weakness in his game. Uh, great off, great on and off the court. I've got this enjoyed uh, to coach this young man. I ended up getting a, uh, a scholarship to Murray State. And um, they was on me from the get-go. I had a lot of other schools that was on me hard. But I had a, also had a lot of schools that was sleeping on me. So I just took it as, since they came, and believed in me that I wasn't gonna let them down. So now I'm currently playing at Murray State and I won a ring my freshman year, freshman of the year, my freshman year, uh, newcomer of the year. And my sophomore year, we ended up going to the tournament my uh, freshman year also. Sophomore Isaiah Cannon was a perfect six of six from three point land and led the racers with 24 points. He is the first racer this season to score 20 or more points in a game. Murray State was the last team in D1 to have a 20-point scorer. Yeah, I did pretty good. Everybody know Butler. They put us out. They ended up going to the championship game. Um, that was one of my best games in my college career. And I, for also my freshman year, I hit this crazy shot that got over 2 million views on If you haven't seen it, um, I'm sure you can check it out on YouTube somewhere. I, don't, I still to this day don't know how I made that shot, but that was one. That was another moment of my life that I can remember. Is making a half court shot on my knee, and going into my sophomore year, I had a lot of expectations, and I ended up doing pretty good. My team ended up winning our conference again, so that made two rings in two years in college, and um, we ended up losing in our tournament, a uh, tough loss. Ended up going to play in the NIT my sophomore year. And now I'm currently getting ready for my junior year. And these last two years of my life is going to be very critical trying to make an occupation out of this uh, sport that I started at back when I was five years old.